Hey, what's up Glorified community? I'm super excited to announce a new revamped editor, as you can see, is live. This is of course after your feedback, we realized the all older 3.0 editor was a bit intimidating and we've done these changes to make it more so much more approachable uh, and enjoyable to use for especially non-designers as well as professional designers. So let's show you around. So once you come onto the editor, you'll notice everything pretty much looks the same. You have your tools on the left-hand side, your main tool panels, as in your canvas tools, text, shapes, lines, etc. And you got your libraries here. Again, the same movable library panel that you can take around with you on the canvas for convenience. You've got your less priority canvas tools on the bottom left, such as your tutorials, which you can click and watch while you design on the canvas, which is super convenient. Uh, and you've got, of course, your canvas tools and timeline editor, which will show you how it works in a minute because I know a lot of you guys have been asking that question. Uh, you've got your uh, edit panel on the right hand side uh, with your layers and pages and you've got your navigation on the top. So from the get go, overall, the layout looks pretty much the same. But what is the key difference is that the aesthetics uh, has been changed to these rounded corners approach to just make it so much more friendlier and breezy and easier on the eyes. Right. And this has. Uh, proven to increase usability by so much more. Now, the second thing that we've implemented is that all of the tools have been redesigned into these floating panels, as you can see. And the idea here is to section off your different areas of the editor tool so you can identify the purpose of each part of the uh, Canvas editor tool very easily and you build a habit around them so much more easier. This will just give you a much more approachable and easier, breezier workflow. Now let's go and create something to show you this in action. So we're gonna go and draw a canvas, for example, and going to make this a 1080 by 1080 canvas. We'll zoom into it. We'll use the focus tool, focus zoom to go into it. So if you, whatever you're selecting, if you click that, it'll take you right into what you're designing. Um, I'm going to give this, I'm going to add a product into this. So let me go and find an image. This, for example, find like a shoe perhaps. You know what? Let's go with Dr. Martens. They look pretty cool. Boom. And then we'll scale that up. Let's use the remove background tool. So familiar workflows all around as you guys can see. Just get that bit over there, improve this a little bit over here with the red tool. There we go. Bang on, right? Happy with that, we'll go ahead and get done. All right, let's go edit this image. We'll go ahead and try uh, some effects. I think we can make it a bit more brighter or increase the exposure, for example. Let's and increase the contrast too. It's a bit too bright. Yeah, tone it down, but increase the contrast. There we go. I'm happy with that. Let's take the background color. And I like to always get inspired by the product itself. It always just creates a nice and matching vibe. Try a couple of shades down, so a bit more to give more pop on the product versus the uh, the background, right? We'll rotate this, make it flying in the air. Perhaps we'll give it a drop shadow. X position, Y position, and a lot of blur. Fantastic. And let's add a video pattern into this image so that we can show you how the video tool works. So we'll go to the assets panel, go to videos. We got Pixabay videos right now. Uh, we'll go and type a uh, pattern. Let's try this. This is definitely matching. Boom. Scale it. So responsive scale. Right click, send it to back, and let's. There you go. The Video panel is opened. So this is the video editor tool, this icon over here. You can click to hide and show it. And right now, at least, it only opens if you have a video layer in the canvas because uh, we don't have transitions available yet. Once we do release transitions, then you can just click and open it on any canvas. But for now, it's only available once you have a video inside it. So here's your video layer. As you can see, uh, you can zoom out and in from the canvas tool. We can, for example, make this shorter and make it five seconds long. And there we go. And let's make it five seconds long. You can play it. That's a kind of cool effect. And you can make it in a loop as well. 
So five seconds loop. Um, what we can do is make this a bit more transparent so that it just blends in with the background a bit more. It's just a bit too overpowering. You can add blending options too if you want to multiply, things like that. And let's try this one more time. We'll go to the slider to the beginning. So that's a little bit more subtle. It's kind of cool, but it just gives you a little idea of how this could work, of course. And the good, cool thing, of course, working on an infinite canvas is you can try different variations. So once, if you're not happy with that, go ahead and click replace. Go to Pixabay video. We'll try another pattern. Let's try the no signal one. Boom, that's kind of cool. Uh, and then again, try again. Click the background, replace, pattern. Let's try this one. Boom. So, so many different variations, as you can see, we can go ahead and play them. So let's play this one. Oh, it's got sound. That's kind of cool. That's really cool, actually. I'd like to probably export that with the sound. Uh, if you wanted to uh, adjust the sound, I don't think the setting is right here at the moment, but very soon you'll be able to adjust sound audio settings, I believe, as well. Um, but yeah, it's not available right now, so we're working on that. And over here, let's go and hit play. You can see there's another pattern over here with subtle kind of animation. So there you go, guys. This is the new editor tool. Um, you know, you can see the uh, timeline editor is in this kind of form as well with these floating panels, super easy to use. You can drag it up and down to for convenience and create content, graphics, product images at scale. That's it for this video. I'll see you around.